Hi guys! So I think I said in my ship tutorial video that I do another tutorial on logic. And I don't think I can cover the subject of logic completely, because I don't really understand logic well enough. But I can cover a very useful circuit called the ABA circuit, or the ABBA circuit. And here's a, where I would insert Dancing Queen if I wasn't afraid of copyright strikes. So the ABBA circuit, as we're going to call it from now on, is a very useful circuit that allows you to, with the flip of a switch, perform one action, have a delay, and have another action perform after that, and then, with another flip of the switch, have the entire sequence perform in reverse. Probably the most common application for this circuit is in multi-stage landing gear. Though you could atta also attach it to lights or something else. So, to demonstrate, I'm using the landing gear circuit from the Sunfish, and which I featured in a previous video, though I've yet to do a proper showcase for it. But its circuit is laid out in such a way that it's very easy to understand what's going on. So here I've taken the ABBA circuit design made by Talry on the Skywanderers forum, and I just added some bits of control logic that only really interact with the input of the circuit, and I've labeled them in red while all the rest of the circuit is in blue. So this bit here is a hotkey gate, which gets an input from the control yoke. And here is set to activate uh, by pressing the landing gear key. And this hotkey gate goes into an OR gate, uh, just your generic logic gate set to the OR function, uh, meaning it sends out a signal whenever any input activates it. So it can either be activated by this hotkey gate or uh, the button hooked up to it in the cockpit. And it can also, you can also add in any number of other uh, inputs to activate it. Then the OR gate goes into this switch, uh, which is where the ABBA circuit actually begins. Every time you flip this switch, either manually or with a button in inputting into it, or an OR gate that's uh, hooked up to whatever other inputs, it toggles the ABBA circuit from its on and off state. So, with the switch outputting an on signal, it goes into this OR gate. It also goes into this AND gate, but we'll get into that in a bit. So the OR gate, as I said earlier, sends out a signal whenever an input activates it. So it's going to activate uh, this first sequencer gate, which activates pistons in this case, and it simultaneously activates this timer gate, which will wait for whatever time it's set to, and then once, once it's activated, and then output a signal. In this case, it outputs a signal to this AND gate. Uh, you might remember earlier that this AND gate got a signal from the switch, but it didn't do anything, and that's because an AND gate only activates when all of its inputs are on. The switch was on, but, uh, but the timer gate wasn't. But now that the timer gate is on, the AND gate can activate. It then activates the sequencer, which activates hinges so that the landing pad aligns with the ground, and it also activates the timer gate, uh, which isn't really important right now, but it will be when the circuit gets turned off. So turning the circuit off is done the same way as turning it on whether by manually or some kind of input. And when you do that, both the OR gate and the AND gate uh, receive an OFF signal from the switch. Now the AND gate, as I said before, will only be ON when all of its inputs are ON. And since the switch is OFF, uh, 
it also turns off, and its sequencer and timer gate also switch off, the timer gate doing so after its delay. But the OR gate doesn't turn off right away, because it stays on so long as any of its inputs are on. And while the switch's input got turned off, the timer gate is still on from when the circuit was on and will only actually switch off once its delay is complete, at which point this OR gate and its outputs turn off. And that's how an ABBA circuit is able to, with the flick of a switch, perform one action, delay, and then perform another action, and do all of that in reverse at the flick of a switch. So now that you understand all of that, or even if you don't, let's quickly go over how you actually build an ABBA circuit. So first you're going to put down a switch input. You could probably use some other means of input, but this is all I know, so that's how we're going to do it. Then you get an OR gate from your basic logic gates, uh, and make sure it's set to the OR function. It'll probably be that by default, but you want to make sure. Uh, then you want to hook up the switch to it. Then you want to take your sequencer, uh, and hook, uh, your m hook it up to your mechanism, and set the input to whatever you need. Uh, and then you can hook up as many of these sequencers as you want, or whatever other logic bits. Um, but you know, just make, sh just understand that all of these things are going to happen first in your sequence, and then there's a delay, and this next part happens. So plan accordingly. But you can do that. But for now, we're just going to have the one uh, output. So after that, uh, you'll want to get your first timer gate and set it to whatever delay you think you'll need between the first part of the uh, ABBA circuit and the second part. Uh, you know, well, probably not that much, but... And then make sure... You know, you can set it to whatever you want and you can fiddle around with it later. Uh, it doesn't really matter. This The circuit's pretty stable. The only time I've ever really had any trouble with this sort of thing is when I was using pistons, and also I was using the more complicated version of the circuit called an ABC-CBA circuit. So you'll, you'll probably be fine. Alright, so make sure this is hooked up to this, and then you're going to get your... Uh, your AND circuit from basically your logic, uh, the basic logic r gate, and you know, just like you did with the OR gate, but you'll get, you're gonna set it to the AND function. And, and you'll want to make sure you hook the timer up to this uh, AND gate. And then after that, you want Oh, and you also want to make sure the switch is hooked up. Uh, so, also, after that, you're going to put in a sequencer, you know, and set it to what you want, same as you did with the uh, other part, and you can also, of course, hook up as many, uh, you know, sequencers and any other logic bits as you want, but, uh, in this case, we're only going to use this one sequencer and such. And the last uh, part you'll, the last brick or you'll want is this uh, timer. And you know, make sure you hook it up and set it. The delay it doesn't have to be the same as this. It could be longer or shorter. You can play around with it after the fact. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter that much, and, well, it, it matters, but it's very easy to fiddle around with the delays after you've built it to get what you need. 
oh, and of course, make sure this uh, timer is hooked up to the OR gate, and that is the last part you need to complete your ABBA circuit. So at this point, we should have a working ABBA circuit. Oh, okay, maybe uh, let that cycle through. Okay. I think that went first. Let's put it, let's try a longer delay. There you go. That goes first, that goes second, and that goes first, that goes second. That's an ABBA circuit. We did it. Okay. So I hope you help, hope this video helped and I hope you liked it. So if you if you did like it, why don't you go ahead and give it a like? I mean, you were probably going to do that anyway, but like just as a reminder. Also, uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this for me in the future. Uh, it'd be a weird thing to do if you didn't, but you know, I'll take it anyway. But for now, so long and see you next time.